everyone, so this video is going to be on the guinea pig shed tour. So I know that I said I was back like two or three weeks ago, but I've been really, really slacking on videos and stuff. So I thought I'd just do a shed tour because I really don't know what else to film and I've just finished cleaning out the shed. So yeah, got Bella by my feet. Felicity is eating some hay and honey is underneath the hay rack. So yeah, I am really, really sorry for not um, like uploading as regularly as I used to and stuff. It's just, it's just the time and stuff um, recently and yeah. I'm just going to get into the video. So I'm going to start on the little hay lofty area which is now just where I put toys and a tunnel and then the, one of their hay racks. So yeah up here they've just got a few sheets of newspaper as the base and then underneath that they've got their tiles. And um, we've got this dinosaur lizard toy thingy, we've got a round ball, this Christmas pudding wood chew, carrot wood chew, another carrot thingy and another carrot thingy. And then they've got this willow edging all around. They've then got one of their tunnels just in the corner because they like to spend the time in that corner um, going to the toilet. So I thought I'd try and distract them by putting a little tunnel there. I've got two of these like they're like from the hamster playing calm kit thingy, but I just like to put them in the shed. Um, we've got one of the hay racks here. Um, and leaving my water bottle does go there, but I need to fill all the bottles up. Um, yeah, this mirror is like so it wants to fall down. I'm gonna take that out actually. And then we've got another mirror there as well. So then we've just got the ramp, um, which is like hugely messy. And I'm sure that's the ball there. Um, and I need to nail this little bit down here because the carpet's flapping up. But yeah, that's just another ball which is not even supposed to be there. We've got this star wood tree which just sits on there. We've then got this hanging um, basket which is just full of hay, and that's just hooked up I like the baby learning links and the chain which like goes with the hanging basket underneath that we've got two of these little um, coasters from Wilkinson's um, you've got the play sticks which is just seen smelling my leg baby oh, I'm not going to move the camera um, these play sticks which just stand on top of the blue litter tray just so it's easy for them to get up and down the ramp and off the ramp and stuff Honey, he's on a little rampage. Literally, if she doesn't like where I put these, she'll move them. She's moving absolutely everything. <laughs> Let's see if she moves this one. No. Anyway, um, and then that's just a little chair. It's just got high wood shavings and wood pellets in it. This little tray's just got um, just a little bit of bed in it because this one was just to sort of catch whatever fell down. Um, but I decided to put this here as well just in case I want to go to the toilet in here. So this one will be clean probably twice a day because just because it's mainly just newspaper. Then this one has just got uh, wood shavings and wood pellets in. And it's also got a little ball in it. We've got a huge pile of willow sticks down here. Um, we've got these two little carrot chews this tug and gnaw ropey thing and they've got Felicity eating the hay up there um, they've got one of their roadie tunnels just on my feet and if I turn around I have to be really careful because I don't want to stand on any of the piggies um, girls got this pink little chair which has got all the and newspaper in because that's where the water bottles go and that's there just in case the water bottles drip we've got some of the willow edging just along here um, we've got two knobbly Noras there, just to distract them from chewing the sides of the shed. We've got their bowl of pellets, their pigloo. You've got um, baby food on your nose. It's actually, a, when I say baby food, it's a safe one. It's not like the ones you give tamps. So I'll actually show you if I can put, if I've kept it in the shed. This is the baby food, which is actually safe um, for a little treat for guinea pigs and rabbits, etc. Um, well, guinea pigs and rabbits, which I'm going to basically be talking about. But this is just the Ella's Kitchen Strawberry and Apples. 100% um, organic, so it's just completely... There's nothing added to it, it's just, as it says, all there, but the camera don't focus because I'm losing my old one. But it's just completely um, strawberries and apples, and it smells really, really nice as well, and the bunnies and piggies like it. So yeah, that is just that. I'm just going to pop that back in the veggie bag. So yeah, they've got the pigloo here, and um, one of their animals. God, these piggies are literally on a rampage. The two big piggies are. Um, we've got a pink dingley ball there. The bunnies pellets here. We've got this um, yellow 
tunnel which is actually the hamster size one i'm not too sure who it's by but i basically only put this in heaven and just put it in here but i'm only going to put it in here for when i'm in the shed with the piggies see look she i don't know if i just showed you that but she, she's on a rampage you do pig and um, because i don't want to leave this one in here because it is a hamster size they can all fit in it but i don't want to leave it in here just in case you never know just like one of them, one of them gets stuck or something even though I've seen them go in and out of it, I just don't want to risk anything like that. So I do. I'm going to take this one out um, tonight. Well, more than likely, went. Oh, Fudgie. Oh, more than likely, when I leave the shed. But yeah, that's that. Um, this. Then we just have like another one of those tools there. I've got a carpet tile just there randomly. A little kebab chew. Um, I think I need to stand up. And then we've got there uh, three mats. We've got one there, one there, and one here. So as you can see, I do like to dominate the piggy shed with like hideouts and stuff because guinea pigs really, really do need hideouts. Just because they really enjoy them, and it's just a safe place for them to go if they don't really feel safe. Not well, not really safe if they want to like hide away from each other or something. So I've just supplied um, plenty of tunnels and hideouts for them which dominates my mainly all of the shed floor and i've got gloves on again i always get questions as to like why i'm wearing gloves and stuff but yeah i've actually cleaned out the shed about half an hour ago now and i've just realized there's no piggy accidents on the floor yet there's some in the litter trays so that's really really good um little felicity's not even little anymore she's big i need to weigh her again last time i weighed her how much i don't even remember now i'll have to go and get my i'll have to look in my book but she's like almost the size of the other piggies now, so she's huge. Hello, baby. <laughs> she's gonna go upstairs. Go and get some hay. I'm gonna prop that up a little bit, and you might have noticed that I still haven't put like a little edge in, like the little edge in which I said I was gonna do. I probably will get round to doing that over the Easter holidays. Um, but yeah. So yeah, that is basically the piggy shed for this month. Um, I guess it's going to be a, a March um, tour. I will get the bunnies done, but it won't be for March. It'll probably be after, probably in April or something. Um, but I will get that done soon. I'm not too sure when my next video is going to be after this, but I thought I'd just get this one uploaded. Um, because I haven't uploaded in a while, so yeah i hope you like the piggy shed layout for this month it's not really i don't know really, don't even know see so she's gonna do it she's gonna move it <laughs> i don't know why she does it it's just if something's not where she wants it to be she'll just move it out of the way I'll probably come into the shed in the morning. This will be like over here somewhere and it'll just be completely different. Um, how she likes it. But yeah, I'm just going to stop rambling on now. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, and thanks for watching.